This is Sarah Dorian here. A couple colleagues asked me how I use Google Classroom. I use it in every one of my classes, and I'm a music teacher, so this is going to be related to that. I open up Safari, Firefox. I find occasionally my students have a hard time uploading in Google Chrome. I only know that because they all love Google Chrome. And you type in Google Classroom, and it'll just pop up. Now you have to be a Google Platform School. You'll see that it says I don't have it, and that's because my personal email popped up. So I have to go to my Google Classroom here. This has all my classes. I just created this one by going in here and creating a class. Class for my other friends. I'm going to create. Look at that. I think I'm going to keep that background. So this is a theme. If I wanted to change the theme, I'd go into here and go through all the different choices. But I dig the one that's there, so I'll say cancel. For students, you can invite the students by sending them emails. But what I usually do is put it up on the board and say go to Google Classroom and type in this class code. And then I am, I am forever on their list. Clicking back to stream, you can add. I personally like to use the announcement for um, class commitments and stuff like this. This does not have a due date or an assignment where kids would have to turn it in. So I would announce spring commitment dates. And I can select all my classes or just this class. And I'm just going to select this class. And let's say I want to upload from my drive. And for fun, we'll select this image of the Beethoven quote. And I'll add it. Once I double click, it'll be posted. Assignments are a little more complicated. And so let's say I want to do video. to Wednesday, March 11th. And then I would say here, contest solo, 16 measures, I could say add Technical, high, needy, detail, face, camera, towards, instrument. Now I want to go in here and select the proper date. For some reason I didn't see this at first and it confused me. It will say till midnight. My high schoolers will claim this time if you do not go in and change it. So you want to make sure you go in and choose the time of your class or whatever time you want it done by. Again, is this an assignment for all your classes or just this class? If it's just this class, don't select any others. If you have an attachment, like instructions. A lot of times I have instructions. I'll put it there. And look, here's the keynote vocabulary presentation instructions. So we'll add that. I also um, sometimes have a YouTube link. So YouTube instructions here. And then post the link there. And then double click to assign. My only challenge here is I want to show you how the students do stuff, but the students' names are going to be on here. So I'll just share. 
this is a problem. Because I can't upload videos onto my own classes. So I'll try to show you this. This is what one of my classes looks like. They have an assignment due next Wednesday. They had an assignment that was due tomorrow. And I have 27 kids who aren't done, but 11 who are. Here's my extra credit. Go to the KU concert. 100 points. They even have some free tickets. The students can write you comments and you can respond. I put a video link on here of us playing. This is another assignment. So students record and then I can tell when they're done or not done. And you would go into here. I'm just going to kind of zoom in, yeah, and choose a kid and choose his video. That was cute. Chris said that. Chris is pretty awesome. All my kids are awesome. And he's uploaded it. And it just opens in a new window. He's a sixth grader and he's titled it. He has his name, name of the piece. And I can pause it and then I would go back while I'm listening. And then you can see all my details that I write to him, comments, where to record, what listening videos, how to make changes, that sort of thing. And then I would um, post and his grades right here and return it. And it shows you see how some people relate. And at the very top, he would return there. Let me go back. And over here, it shows all the assignments that are due soon. You can click on this button, which is kind of nifty. Get you to all the classes really fast. One of the things I like is it has all the assignments. So I can see all my assignments, which is really nice and a little bit faster. Particularly for people who have one prep, they can go to everything really fast. But of course, orchestra teachers probably have six preps. But I hope this helps. As you can see, there's my email address if you have some questions. I'd be very glad to help you out. I also have a video on how the kids record the videos in iMovie and how they share them. So have a great day, and I hope you find Google Classroom successful for you.